Hi there, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a quick look at this Dimco Recon Manual Slide Fifth Wheel Trailer Hitch. This fifth wheel hitch is going to mount in your short bed truck so that you can tow your fifth wheel trailer. This does have a manual slide on it so we can very simply pull out on this lever here, move that into the slide position, and that's going to allow it to slide 14 inches back towards your tailgate so that you can provide clearance uh, for your short bed pickups uh, to allow them to turn slow, uh, safely at your slow speeds. That's going to help prevent your trailer from making contact with your cab of your pickup during those sharp slow speed turns. Uh, this is designed for use on trucks with a bed that is shorter than eight feet, but it isn't recommended for truck beds that are shorter than six feet. It's still not going to give you enough clearance. So uh, keep that in mind. Make sure uh, that your uh, it's going to fit your setup. Uh, something important to note is that uh, this is not going to be compatible with your rotating pin boxes. Uh, that would give you two points of articulation uh, and that won't work. Uh, could cause issues and safety problems. So uh, you have to have a static pin box uh, in order to use this. Uh, but once you have it installed, it will give you that extra clearance that you need. Uh, so if you are making those tight turns, uh, you can get out of your vehicle. Uh, extend uh, that lever out and then you can as you drive forward it'll allow your trailer to slide back and then when you uh, are in the straight on position again it'll slide forward uh, for you so uh, very important uh, keeping the weight of your trailer above your axle uh, as you're traveling at normal road speeds but then when you need to make those uh, slow sharp turns it will give you that extra length uh, that you need and then you can very easily just lock it back in place once you're done with your turn. Now I will say uh, this is going to require a little bit of effort. So when you get to that situation where you're needing to make that tight turn, you will have to get out, uh, make sure that the lever's in the unlocked position and then get back in your vehicle, make your turn and then get it put back in the locked position. There are also auto slides systems that will make that uh, sliding motion automatically for you when you're in those uh, slow speed uh, tight turns. Those are going to be significantly more expensive. So uh, if you are willing to pay for the convenience, those are going to be a great way to go. But if that doesn't quite fit in your price range, this is going to still give you that same uh, ability to extend that uh, hitch back, but it is going to cost a little bit less. So uh, something to keep in mind there. Uh, this is made here in the USA of a sturdy steel construction. It does have this rust resistant black powder coat finish on it. As you can see, that steel construction is going to give this its gross towing weight capacity, which is the 21,000 pounds. It also has a vertical load limit of 5,250 pounds. So it will be uh, pretty substantial for you. Make sure that that's going to work for your trailer's setup. Uh, this does require side plates in order to connect to your above bed rails or your custom underbody rail system. We do sell those separately here at eTrailer.com. So uh, if you're wanting to piece together, uh, you can do that. Uh, Otherwise, we also sell kits that have the hitch and those side rails already set up for your different applications. So uh, if you're needing both, I would encourage you to check those out uh, here at eTrailer.com. Make sure you're getting the right one for your setup. A uh, really nice thing about this is that it is a little bit lighter weight, especially compared to those auto slides like I mentioned uh, before. So uh, those are going to be about twice as heavy as this. And so while this isn't going to be lightweight, uh, it will definitely take a couple people uh, lifting it, uh, getting it out of your truck anytime you want to remove it and have full bed access. It is going to be lighter than, uh, say, your auto slide setup. So it uh, will allow you to take it out, put it back in your truck bed relatively easy. Uh, this whole setup here weighs approximately 165 pounds. So again, I'm uh, definitely going to need a couple sets of hands uh, to help you uh, get it in and out, uh, but it can be removed. It's not going to always be in your truck bed. So this does have a single wraparound jaw. I'll zoom in for you so you can see that a little bit better. Uh, so that's going to provide a nice secure connection uh, to your kingpin. It's got 360 degree jaw to kingpin contact. 
So that's gonna have less rattling and more security than your slide bar type jaws. So I've got it open there. You can see how that's gonna work. Uh, I've got a screwdriver here to kind of simulate your kingpin coming in. So it's going to hit that back plate there and allow it to close. And when we have it closed, you can see this does have the three quarter inch thick solid steel locking bar that's gonna reinforce that connection uh, with your coupled trailer. Uh, that's gonna automatically lock into place when the jaw closes. I'm zooming back out here, you can see we can operate that with our spring-loaded handle here with the comfort grip. That's going to allow you to uh, very simply couple and disconnect. Uh, the tethered safety pin here lets you secure the handle in place in either the open or the closed position. And having that tether is going to ensure that you won't lose it. This does have a double pivot hitch head that's going to ease your hookup and helps to limit your chucking. Uh, that pivots front and back and side to side. If I uh, turn the table here, you can see we do have these uh, cushioned polyurethane dampeners that help reduce your noise and absorb road shock to ensure a nice smooth ride. As we work our way down, uh, we do have a couple different height settings to match your application. Make sure that it's going to be tall enough to get over uh, your bed rails and that sort of thing. Uh, so we can adjust the pin here. Uh, this will lift up. Our max height would be uh, 20 and 7 eighths of an inch. Our middle height is 19 and 5 eighths of an inch. And then our lowest height is 18 and 3 eighths of an inch. So gives you quite a bit of adjustability there. Make sure that uh, you're going to have the clearance you need over your uh, side bed rails. Uh, but overall, a really nice system here. Again, uh, if the auto slide doesn't quite fit into your budget. Uh, this is going to give you that same uh, clearance that you need uh, for significantly uh, less price. And that completes our look for today. Again, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.